In this topic, you will learn about what are the microorganisms found in the soil, their composition, and the factor affecting their growth in the soil. Few examples of beneficial microorganisms in the soil will be highlighted as well. Before we begin, please subscribe this channel to show your support. If you have any comment or inquiry regarding this video, please post your comment in this video. There are five categories of microbes in the soil. There are bacteria, fungi, actinomycetes, algae, and protozoa. In terms of shape, there are three shapes of bacteria. The first one is cocci or spherical. The second one is bacilli or rod shape. Just like this. And the last one is spirally. Or spiral shape. In terms of forms, they can be diplo, which means two bacteria, strepto, with more than two bacteria. And stapilo. They are clustered. For fungi, they are very diverse. They play a very important role as in decomposition of organic matters. They are commonly found near the aerobic soil surface and they contribute greatly to the mobilization of minerals and water and improve soil aeration such as through the mycorrhizae association between fungi and plant root. For actinomycetes, they are capable to utilize hydrocarbons and recalcitrant organic matters. Important genera include nocardia, streptomyces, and micromonospora. Algae is relatively smaller in number and diversity. They are usually found on the surface layer or just below and they can perform photosynthesis. Algae can symbiotically associate with fungi which is called as lichen. Protozoa are mostly flagellates and amoeba. They are able to ingest bacteria and exert a control on bacterial population to maintain ecological balance in the soil. In terms of composition, Bacteria consist of 84% which can be divided into aerobic bacteria, seventy percent, and anaerobic bacteria. Fourteen percent. Aerobic bacteria are bacteria that live in presence of oxygen. And they are the largest proportion of microbe in the soil, whereas anaerobic bacteria are type of bacteria that live in absence of oxygen. Actinomycetes is thirteen percent. Followed by fungi three percent.
Other microbes found in the soil are algae, protozoa, and virus, which consist of very small portion, which is 0.2%. Algae and protozoa are usually found in wet or moist soil, water body like ponds. The distribution of microbes in the soil is affected by the soil depth. This can be affected to the changes in oxygen concentration across the soil layers. The top layer or top soil has high concentration of oxygen. As we go deeper into the soil layers, the oxygen concentration becomes lower. The layers of soil can be categorized into few zones according to the bacterial oxygen requirement. The top layer is called aerobic zone, where most of the aerobic bacteria live here, followed by microaerophilic zone. Where the bacteria here require less oxygen. The bottom layer is called as anaerobic zone, where most of the bacteria here are anaerobic bacteria. In contrast, the concentration of hydrogen sulfide is high at the bottom soil and low at top soil. Bacteria such as green sulfur bacteria and sulfur reducing bacteria are able to live in high concentration of hydrogen sulfide, whereas cyanobacteria and protists live in an environment with low concentration of hydrogen sulfide. In agriculture, the topsoil is the most productive layer of soil because it contains abundance of microorganisms that may be beneficial to the soil health and crop production. Microorganisms in the soil can be quantified using cultural method on agar media. However, this method is able to detect up to 10% of total soil microbes. More advanced methods such as molecular and metagenomic can be used to quantify more soil microbes. Some dominant genera of soil bacteria include Atrobacter, Pseudomonas, Agrobacterium, Nitrosomonas, Nitrobacter, and Bacillus. Nitrosomonas and nitrobacter are appreciated for the ability to perform nitrification process in the soil. Some of the bacteria such as Pseudomonas and Xanthomonas are pathogenic to plant. Animal pathogens such as Clostridium, Bacillus, Cochlea, and Streptococcus also can be found in soil. There are a few factors that affecting the growth of microorganism in the soil. Other than oxygen requirement as mentioned earlier, the growth of microbes are affected by pH, temperature, moisture, and nutrient availability in the soil. In detail, bacteria can be classified into five categories according to their oxygen requirement. They are obligate aerobe, facultative anaerobe, obligate anaerobe, aerotolerant anaerobe, and microaerophile. This table showing the summary of the classification, description, and examples of bacteria. Obligate aerobe. Obligate aerobe are the bacteria that must live in the presence of oxygen. The word obligate here refers to must or compulsory. They cannot live without oxygen. This can be illustrated using a diagram where all the bacteria growing at the top of the media where oxygen is present. Facultative anaerobe. Facultative anaerobe are the bacteria that prefer the presence of oxygen but also can live 
when oxygen is absent. As you can see in the diagram, most of the bacteria are growing on the top of the media, but there are also some growing all over the media. Obligate anaerobe. They live in a condition where oxygen is absent. Oxygen is toxic to them. In the tube, they only grow at the bottom where oxygen is absent. Aerotolerant anaerobe. Aerotolerant anaerobe can survive in the presence of oxygen but do not use it in their metabolism and oxygen is not toxic to them they can grow evenly in various level of oxygen lastly micro aerophile micro aerophile are the bacteria grow best in presence of small amount of oxygen where the oxygen level is not too high. As in the diagram, they are distributed in the middle where the oxygen level is not too high. In terms of pH, microbes can be classified into three categories, namely acidophiles, neutrophiles, and alkaliphiles. Acidophiles are the microbes that can live in acidic condition ranging a pH from 1 to 6. Acid sulfate soil and peat soil are examples of acid soil which have low pH. Next is neutrophile. Most of the microbes fall within this category where they live in pH 6 to 9. Lastly, alkaliphiles. Alkaliphiles are microbes that live in alkaline condition ranging from pH 10 to 14. This usually in sandy soil or breeze soil. Temperature Microorganisms are classified to four categories according to their temperature requirement. Sacrophile Sacrophile are microbes that live in cold temperature ranging 15 to 20 degrees Celsius. For example, in a chiller, microorganisms can still live in this temperature. When you store your food in a refrigerator or chiller, this food still can be spoiled by microorganisms. Most probably, these microorganisms are from this group, which is sacrophile. Next is mesophile. Mesophile are the common microbe grow best at temperature between 25 degree to 40 degree Celsius. These are the common microbes in the soil. This is followed by thermophiles. Thermophiles are microorganisms grow best at temperature from 50 to 60 degree Celsius. Many are found in compost. Lastly, Extreme thermophile. This category of microbe can withstand very high temperature ranging from 18 to 90 degrees Celsius. Only few microbes are tolerant to high temperature, for example, in the hot spring or boiling water. As in autoclave, the temperature is 121 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, none of the microorganisms can withstand this high temperature. Thus, the autoclave material will become sterile or free from any microorganism. Mycorrhiza Mycorrhiza is one of the important interactions in the soil. Only certain plants and fungi have the ability to form this type of interaction. A mycorrhiza is a symbiotic association between a plant and fungus. 
The plant makes organic molecules such as sugars by photosynthesis and supplies them to the fungus. And the fungus supplies the plant water and minerals nutrients such as phosphorus taken from the soil. I will use this diagram to show the mycorrhizal association. The yellow colors are the extension of hyphae of mycorrhiza. This extension will improve water uptake in the soil and also improve the uptake of nutrients in the soil, especially phosphorus, because phosphorus is immobile nutrient. Mycorrhiza also provide habitat for other microorganisms in the soil. It also helps in plant defense mechanism against pests and diseases.